Tudi pemada pemada dui sahaya ka wadu The story of uh, Heatless and heatful Diligent and negligent big goods who are friends Abamado Bamade Su So De Su Bu Jagaro Abala Sanwa Sika So Hitwaya Di Sumeda So Hit food among the hitless white awake among the sleepy the wise man advances like a swift horse leaving behind a weak horse, a weak jade. This stanza was taught by the Buddha when he was in Jetavana Monastery with a reference to two bhikkhus who were friends. You know, there were two break hoops who are uh, who were friends. One is hideless break hoop, a matter break hoop, negligent break hoop. Another one is a matter break hoop, hateful break hoop, or diligent break hoop. Or maybe energetic, uh, lazy bhikkhu and energetic bhikkhu. Two bhikkhu, they are friends. They learn how to practice meditations up to Vipassana state, up to Arahanda state from the Buddha. After learning the practice of meditation from the Buddha, they went to one monastery in the forest. Forest Monastery. Then, you know, one bhikkhu, pamata bhikkhu, negligent bhikkhu, or heedless bhikkhu, or lazy bhikkhu. Then, before dark, early in the evening, then he collect many fire wood from the forest. Then when become dark, then he make the fire. He make the fire then with the fire wood. Then he also invite many young beku and young samaneras. Then they have composition. They are chattering each other. They are talking to each other about many things. Oh, then he was indolent away his times, wasting his was, wasting his times. Okay, by doing so for a long times, he don't practice meditation. Why the other diligent bhikkhu is practicing meditation diligently? How he practices meditation? You know, when they are having conversation, when the lazy bhikkhu is having conversation with the other young bhikkhu and samaneras together, during the first watch of the night, the first watch, you know, from 6 p.m. to 10 p.m., or four hours. This is called the first watch in the night. Then, you know, lazy bhikkhu, hideless bhikkhu is chattering, having conversation with the other young bhikkhu and samnira, but the other bhikkhu is practicing meditation diligently, especially he emphasizes walking meditation and the first watch or the night. 
during the first watch of the night. Is it? Then what happened? Then when he became tired, then he go to his kuti and he enter into his room, sleeping room, and he find he, he rest, he sleep. At that time, what happened? The other lazy bhikkhu also finished chattering with the other bhikkhu and samanera. Then when he is resting, then he came to his kuti and he tell, what, what he, uh, <coughs> uh, sorry, then when the diligent bhikkhu is practicing meditation diligently, he also saw his friend's condition. He is wasting his time without practicing meditation. Then he also reminded him, I saw my A1 Greek, I saw don't do so. Pamata sahi chataro apaya saka kara sadisa. Those who are heedless or negligent, the four lower realms are similar to their uh, homes. You know, those who are heedless, who are not doing kusala, then lower realms are similar to their home. That means if they don't do kusala, they are heedless, then after passing away, it is easy to fall into full full state, easy to go to hell. Oh, that is why when they became when they became, for example, animal, when they become animals, very difficult to escape from the animal life. In the same way, when they fall into hell, also very difficult to escape from the hell. Is it? When they became, when they become the hungry ghost, beta, also very difficult to escape from the beta realms. Very difficult to become human being again. That is why if they are heedless, then four lower realms are similar to their home. Okay? One's homes. Oh, he encouraged in this way. Although he encouraged, although he reminded his friends, but he is still lazy. He doesn't want to listen to his, he doesn't want to obey his friends and management. Then, okay, the other bhikkhu, he doesn't want to obey my admonishment. Then, no problem. Then, he practiced meditation himself diligently. You know? Then the other lazy bhikkhu, negligent bhikkhu, heat less bhikkhu. During the first watch of the night, then he wasted his time. One man himself at the fire, together with the other young samanera, young bhikkhu. Then he have conversation with them. Is it? Oh. Then, you know, the heedful bhikkhus, diligent bhikkhus, practice his meditation uh, in the, uh, during the first watch of the night. Especially he em emphasized in walking meditations. Then after practicing, then he became tired. Then he go to his kuti to rest. Then when he is resting, the other bhikkhu came to his kuti. What did he say? Maha kusita don't nebeje to us say nataya aranyam boy tosi. Maha kusita. Very lazy bhikkhu. Very lazy bhikkhu. You came to the forest monastery to sleep. 
not for practice of meditation, is it? Then King Buddha and Sandiki come at an angetoa. Oh, Taya Samanataman, got the water to eat. You learn the practice of meditation from the Buddha. You should practice meditation diligently. When you are sleeping now, actually, the other big is resting after practicing some meditation. During the midday watch or the night. Is it? Uh, midday watch is to rest, not to have conversation, not to have chattering, not to use internet. Is it? Ten. Then 10 to 2 a.m. Then the last watch is a you know, 2 a.m. to the 6 a.m. This is we call the last watch of the night. Then, you know, the diligent people wake up early in the morning. Then, during the last watch of the night, then he also practice meditation diligently. Oh, this is the night meditation schedule. Then daytime, sure, they are practicing for whole day. They are meeting the diligent people who is practicing meditations for whole day. Then nighttime also practice meditation diligently in this way. Why? The other people is lazy. Is it? Then after practice of meditation, within short time, uh, within this wasa, then he became Arahanda together with four analytical knowledges. Patisa, Bita, Jnana. Then at the end of the Vasa, they went to the Buddhas to pay homage. Then, you know, the Buddha asked them, because did you practice meditation diligently in the forest monastery? Then the lazy Bhikkhu answered fast, Pandey, this Bhikkhu is very lazy. During the whole Vasa, he wasted his time without practicing his meditation. Whenever I go and chat, he was sleeping. He didn't practice meditation. Then he answered in this way. Then the Buddha asked him, How about you? How about you, me, Pandey? During the first watch of the night, I want my body, myself at the fire, together with the other Bhikkhu and Samanira. But he said nothing, only just this one, is it? Uh, then the Buddha understood. Then the Buddha understood their conditions. Then the other Bhikkhu already became Arahanda. But the lazy Bhikkhu is still Buddha then, because of this reason, the Buddha recite, recited these stanzas to those bhikkhu. You know, Abhama Dopama Desu, Sok Desu, Bhujagaro, Abhala Sanvasika So, Hedwaya Desu Medha So. Actually, you know, This bhikkhu is practicing meditation diligently. Because of this reason, he became Aranda within short times. Although he became Aranda because of practice of meditation, but you were lazy in the forest monastery. You were indolent, indolence wasting your times without practicing meditation. Oh. Then, according to these sentences, <clears throat> there are two bhikkhus. One is a heedless bhikkhu, pamata bhikkhu. Another one is apamata bhikkhu, heedful bhikkhu. Lazy bhikkhu and energetic bhikkhu. Negligent bhikkhu and diligent bhikkhu. Then what happened? So the result also will be different. Result also will be different. 
There are, for example, uh, similes. Two horses. One horse is very strong and very fast to run. Then another horse is very weak and very slow. Then when they compete, to, when they compete in running, then what will happen? The strong and swift horse will run faster. Then he will lead the other weak and slow horse behind. Is it? In the same way, heedless bhikkhu and heedful bhikkhu. When the heedful bhikkhu, diligent bhikkhu, energetic bhikkhu, practice meditation diligently, then he attain jhana, mega, plan, nirvana within short time. Then, you know, heedless bhikkhu, Negligent, lazy bhikkhu. Although he stayed in the forest monastery for whole wasa, he didn't attain any jhana megaphala nibbana attainment. Then he remained in behind. You know, the other energetic bhikkhu attain jhana megaphala nibbana, then he left the other lazy bhikkhu behind. In the same way, when they study together, you know, if someone is very heedless, negligent, and lazy, then he study one sota for a long time. He only just finished one sota, but the other diligent bhikkhu already finished one chapter. Then when he finished one chapter, he, the other bhikkhu already finished one book or different in result, is it? Oh, in the same way, you know, that lazy bhikkhu, then, you know, that energetic bhikkhu also, will escape from sansara, the round of rebirth. Then he escaped from the suffering. He left the lazy bhikkhu in the round of rebirth, sansara. Oh, he left the lazy bhikkhu behind. Although that energetic bhikkhu escaped from suffering, but he is still in suffering. He is still in sansara, the realm of rebirth. Oh, this, is, this, this is the difference between the lazy and the energetic bhikkhu. Oh, the Buddha says, the Buddha means with this uh, stanza. Then at the end of the, the, the stanza, many lessons began, sotapanna, etc. Then, you know, then there are also many people in the world, only just two groups of people. One group is the wise person, one group is the foolish person. In other words, one group is only just lazy group, another group is energetic group, heedless group, heedful group, negligent big group, and Diligent group. In which group you are? Eh? Okay. Then if you are in diligent, hateful, energetic group, then you will reach Nibbana quickly. Then you can leave the other group behind. Is it? Then if you are in lazy group, negligent group, hateless group, then you will remain. Then the other bhikkhu will reach the destination quickly. Oh, this is the difference. Oh, by knowing the Buddha's admonishment with this stanza, then may you be able to practice meditation diligently. May you be able to realize Nibbana. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. <coughs> Suki Hodu, Nepana Pesia Hodu Sadu Sadu Numotami Sadu Numoti Tapan Kamami Kamitapan
Sukhi Hodu Nipanabis Yodu